Hi friends, uh, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. Uh, in today's class in our channel, we are going to discuss uh, business, economics and financial analysis, BEFA subject. So in today's class uh, in our channel, we will discuss unit 1, first unit, important questions. Okay. So this class uh, will be helpful for your upcoming semester examinations. So if you are going to write uh, business economics and financial analysis so we'll discuss uh, how we can uh, get questions from first unit okay so if we can understand the question properly then we can uh, write our answer very easily okay so let us start uh, today's class if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel please like and share our channel okay so let us start today's class. So, this is uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, Hyderabad. Subject is Business Economics and Financial Analysis, Unit 1. So, first uh, question, distinguish between positive and normative approach of study. So, this is A and B bit, what is the implication of the word limited after the company's name? okay so positive and normative approach of study so what he is asking here positive and normative approach of study so distinguish so positive and normative approach of study so we have to differentiate the study right so add uh, uh, write the headings of this positive and normative approach and write the what are the different uh, what are the different points coming under this both categories next what is the implication of the word limited after the company's name so limited means we know public limited company private limited company so limited means it is a uh, responsibility like it's a security okay so all these things you can add in this uh, question next question so it is uh, uh, this is this may come for seven marks and this may come for eight marks next question what is the meaning of recession what is its relevance for the economy okay recession and what is its relevance for the economy see here so up to here one question mark is there and it is continued with one more question mark so you have to write about the recession and you have to write about the economy so it's always uh, uh, gives a good presentation while writing your answer so instead of going for writing paragraphs of theory so write uh, uh, headings write the definition write the key points for the related recession so like that if you write you will get uh, good marks so next uh, relevance for economy so write about the economy okay next be bit what is the major difference between macroeconomics and microeconomics okay so what is the difference between macroeconomics and microeconomics i can here differentiate so write a, a draw a table so in that uh, first uh, write heading about uh, macroeconomics next heading write about microeconomics and write all the key points coming under this microeconomics and microeconomics then only you will get uh, good marks next third question a bit explain different sources of capital needed for a joint stock company okay so capital so first write the, the uh, side heading capital what is the definition for this capital and what are the different sources of capital how many sources we are getting uh, which are related to this capital which is uh, needed for a joint stock company next write about joint stock company next question explain different kinds of business entities see here business entities okay so what are the various entities uh, which are related to this business right first right what is the definition for this entity what is the meaning of this entity okay so until and unless you don't write all these things the examiner cannot understand what uh, exactly going on in your mind okay so you have to give in a best you have to give your best presentation especially for this business economics and financial analysis okay next term discuss the nature and scope of business economics okay discuss the nature and scope of business economics 
so scope of business economics means how we can write answer so first explain what is business economics okay and how this economics is related to this business like that you have to explain the answer then only you will get good marks next to write further what is the scope of this business economics so in further how it is useful for uh, your your company or your business okay how it is related this business economics how it is related like that you have to add all the key points next we will define the term inflation and explain its impact on the economics okay so whenever you are uh, having a question in that question if you are seeing the word economy right try right, to start with the definition of this economy write the side heading economy write uh, two two three sentences related to this economy and further continue with this inflation write the definition of this inflation and complete your answer okay so like that you have to see until you have to read the question properly so until and unless if you don't read the question if you don't understand what is the exact content in the question you cannot go for the answer so it is uh, a best practice for you guys so read it properly read it once twice thrice so if you read it n number of times it will be easy for you to complete your answer because first unit you can see all theory questions from first unit so it uh, takes lot of time to complete your theory answer right so next one uh, inflation uh, this is a sources of capital next elodic lc lc date the significance of business economics see previous case here also we have discussed about business economics and here also so with this what we can understand a same question can be asked in many ways okay a same question can be asked in many ways but the answer is same okay like that you have to understand it next uh, sixth question describe the various stages of business cycle so draw the business cycle how it is starting how it is moving right and how it is proceeding and how the graph is uh, the moving how the graph is changing its position all these things uh, mentioned in this business cycle so once you are getting a question which is related to business cycle draw draw a the draw its diagram write the related things which are important in this diagram like labeling the parts of this diagram so it gives a good presentation for the examiner okay now next <clears throat> narrate the nature of a business economics see again you are getting the question which is uh, business economics what is joint stock company discuss the sources of capital required by a joint stock company okay so previous case uh, we have seen uh, capital needed for a joint stock company but here what is uh, the examiner is asking what is joint stock company discuss the sources of capital required by a joint stock company okay so that and this the question is same so like that uh, see why i wrote these questions because you should know each question each uh, content how it can be asked in many ways that's why i have written here okay next what is a business cycle discuss the phases of business cycle and list out the measures to be taken for protecting the interest of the business cycle see previous case so we uh, we came across this business cycle so it is for seven marks here but here many questions are involved here and entire question is for 15 marks so you, the other the examiner is asking about business cycle next phases of business cycle and list out the measures to be taken for protecting the interest of the business so all these things uh, you have to complete it right with the beautiful side headings write the key points draw the diagrams label the parts right explain each part which is necessary for so that you can complete your answer next evaluate partnership form of business organization okay so partnership form of business organization so write about the partnership what are the types of partnerships okay so it's better draw a table in the table write uh, all the related matter which is closely related to this partnership next what is national income examine the concepts of national income okay so write about the national income right 
so what are the various concepts involved in the national income per capita income okay all these things uh, which are coming under this national income write the side headings write the key points right so like that uh, complete your answer okay so these are few so not uh, completely only just these are the few questions uh, from our first unit i have picked from first unit so this uh, class will be definitely helpful for you guys for your upcoming uh, DEFA exam, upcoming business economics and financial analysis exam. Okay, if you need any additional information, if you are having any doubts rela related to any topic, please post in the comments box. I will give you a reply. Okay, so if you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe our channel. Please like and share our channel. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for watching.